The Philippine drug war is back. After a month of suspending all drug-related activities pursuant to the directive of no less than the highest official of the country, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the drug war is back. Now, with greater determination to eliminate the drug menace that has ravaged the country of its peace and tranquility. Dubbed as Oplan Double Barrel Reloaded, the campaign started in February 27, 2017 and was relaunched by the Philippine National Police on March 6, 2017. According to PNP Chief Police Director General Ronald M. De La Rosa, the new face of the government's drug campaign will be more gentle and kind. Yet, it will be more comprehensive, more aggressive, and more systematic with more focus on high-value targets who has passed through proper validation. On its third phase, the campaign's execution is tailored on a well-defined and innovative police operations and measures based on operational guidelines and procedures to the current situation in the province, which will efficiently and effectively carry out the purpose of double-barrel reloaded. Thus. The Oplan Sinagtala of the Camarini Sur Police Provincial Office came to life. Oplan Sinagtala, supili natin ang lahat ng illegal na narcotico, armas, gamot, mga tulak, adiksyon, at iba pang uri ng kriminalidad sa lipunan para matupad ang ating adhikain. Is a comprehensive internal and community involvement approach in addressing illegal drugs and criminality in the province. The concept of Oplan Sinagtala is to institute a scheme, which includes three phases. The formulation stage, the implementation stage, and output that shall be worked on jointly by the concerned agencies and stakeholders to achieve this Oplan's mission to protect the well-being, promote the safety, and improve the quality of the lives of the Camarinenses. The formulation stage comprises a series of meetings that were set and convened to activate the technical working group, the board, and oversight committee, and the Camarinenser Police Provincial Office Provincial Advisory Council. Through the leadership of the board's chairperson and vice chairperson, Governor Miguel Luis R. Villafuerte and Police Senior Superintendent Jerry F. Piares, respectively, these groups, composed of dedicated individuals and hand picked agency representatives, concocted and conceptualized the holistic concept and design of Oplan Sinatala. With the Provincial Public Safety Company as the support unit, the internal division includes the police provincial office, city and municipal police stations that shall lead and implement the following police operations and other strategic concepts. Intensified service of search warrant operations. Intensification of bust operations. Intensification of manhunt Charlie operations. Creation and deployment of motorcycle cops according to provincial district sectors. The strengthening of these activities is based on stringent target setting for all the city and municipal police stations per week. The maintenance of peace and order is a primary concern of the PNP. Essentially, the external stakeholders such as the local government unit, in the same manner, are also expected to come up with programs related to the propagation of peace and order and public safety plans, projects, and activities. To actively engage the support of the local chief executives to the Camarinisur Police Provincial Office's public safety, peace, and security efforts, the following external stakeholders' programs and activities will be partaken. Skills development of force multipliers, specifically the Barangay Tanods and traffic enforcers.
revitalization of BINs and ICE in the barangay. The community plays a significant role in the attainment of the vision of the organization and that is to secure a safer place to live, work and do business. Amicable partnerships with the community and maximizing their involvement in implementing crime prevention and solution campaigns through the BINs and ICE in the barangay will promote extensive links and strengthen the intelligence machinery of the police. Thus, improvement of the intelligence efforts is essential in the inhibition of crimes, particularly in anti-drugs activities and operations. As the first line of defense in the barangay level through information gathering on terrorist activities in their AORs, the BINs and IC the barangays in the suppression of insurgency, terrorism and other threat, the enhancement of internal security operations will thwart the organization of different terrorist cells in the area, recruitment, collection of intelligence, and penetrating of territorial access points. This is a timely initiative of this upline that no incident like the Marawi siege will harm the lives of the Camarinenses. Crisis Management Potentially dangerous situation and harmful occurrences may come any time of the day, even in the most unpredictable moment. Crisis is a crucial or decisive point or situation in the course of anything. In situations like these, adequate and swift response to crisis will spawn safety of the majority. In carrying out this program, the Camarinisar Police Provincial Office shall support a local government unit-owned program that aims to revisit the skills and readiness of the Crisis Management Committee members to address human-induced crisis situations arising from the action of criminals, including terroristic activities and hostile plans who use violence or threat to pursue their ends. Skills revisiting for VIP close protection has also been steered due to the intense vulnerability of the local government officials after pledging their all-out support in this anti-criminality and anti-illegal drugs campaign. And with the eminent weight and strengthening of the provincial and municipal alliance of anti-illegal drug advocates. Following the success of the unconventional take on anti-illegal drug advocacy through massive information operation conducted by this police provincial office, the clamor for change was sought by other drug surrenderies in the different municipalities of this province. One of the flagship programs for this first batch of one battalion out of the more than 26,000 drug surrenderers in the province is the conduct of police drills and ceremonies. The maneuver starts as early as 5.30 in the morning, losing the individuality, unifying, internalizing the physical conditioning activities, increasing their skill and coordination, inculcating discipline, and instilling the importance of hard work, which they can apply in their everyday lives. Dulce was a drug user long before she came to Camarines Sur and became a barangay tanod. Upon the knowledge of the barangay council of her drug addiction, she was ousted in the barangay peacekeeping action team. But her life changed when Upland Double Barrel was steered. Ano po yung, ano, Upland Topang? Doon pa ako nag-surrender. Masakit na po. Baka po kung anong mangyayari sa akin. Baka po mga anak ko, ang liliit pa. On the other hand, was a frequent visitor of the PNP detention cell as a response to numerous complaints of alarm and scandal against him because of the repercussion of illegal drugs to his behavior. But when Project Double Barrel was massively implemented, he took a big leap to a new chapter of his life. Um, uplantokang, doon na pa nag, anong magpunyo ta, 
Kung dahil po kang magkondo, anong din makulong ako? Hmm. Naman po. Dahil po naman babalik kasi dati kong gibo ka daw. Na sa Yudoga, hindi ka ito babalikan. May man ipito yung malay sa pamilya ko. Na... Through the initiatives of this police provincial office and the support of the local government units, they have gone through an emergence of holistic reforms. They were once our enemies, now our allies. From these once known drug surrenderies, they have become crusaders, valuing oneness towards attaining a drug free community, hence, now calling themselves advocates. The provincial government of Camarines Sur and the Camarines Sur Police Provincial Office have paved the foundation to recognizing, understanding, and predicting the complex social issues which affects the security of the constituents of the province through the Oplan Sinagtala. However, much remains to be done and progress to date should be viewed as promising start in surpassing the challenges of our vision of a safe Camarinesur. Secure, freeing the community from fear, alert, observance and exercise of resiliency and vigilance in occurrence of crime. Fun, enjoying the essence of life by none or less occurrence of crime. Excellent, maintaining a world-class province characterized by efficient and effective enforcement of peace and orderliness. Ang pamayo po ang Samuyang Banuaan, Didiyo sa Pasakaw. Ako po bilo ang Sakuyang Pag-iriba, Sakuyang Bayan. Po 100% po, yaon po kami na mataong suporta, yaon po kami na kaalalay. As in po, yaon din po kami na ma-initiar kung ano pa man ang pwede mga demon dito sa Banuaan para po mas pang uh, mapagayon, mapatakula po, as in mapapusog ang programa po pang Uplan Sinagtala na mahiling po na sararo kita para po sa karahayang kansatuyang komunidad. Ini po si Mayor Fermin Mabulo, uh, known as Mayor Selfie. I pledge my full and 100% support to the uh, Oplan Sinagtala of the Provincial uh, Police Office. Lahat naman na involved dito sa ating Oplan no? uh, Sinagtala, eh, umasa po kayo ang nakikisa ang uh, inyong arsubispo ang buong simbahan. Saludong ko sa inyo, be assured of our encouragement, our support you know, in fighting uh, what is illegal, especially yung mga illegal drugs, mga corruption, or anything that especially destroy our young people. Uh, I'm pledging my full support and uh, cooperation with our Camarillo Police Provincial Office. And we will be serving as a conduit to the national office so that all the needed support will be given to Camarillo Police Provincial Office so that this Oplan Sinagtala will be implemented as envisioned and uh, to have utmost results that will bring the peace, progress and security in this area of Camarines or and throughout the Bicol region. Ang mensahe ko po sa ating pong mga brothers and sisters sa PNP Camarines Sur, asahan po nindo ang 100% support ka ang provincial government, myself as the governor, sa satuyang uh, Oplan Sinagtala. I believe that it's a very important program, a very effective program na pagtarabangan tapo gabos posible. So PNP Camarines Sur, provincial government, let us be one, let us unite para bigdi sa Camarines Sur, drug-free ang ating probinsya, as in eradicate criminality, bawasan ang kriminalidad sa ating lipunan. Last May 26, 2017, Oplan Sinagtala was successfully launched as one of the major activities of the 438th Foundation Anniversary of the province of Camarines Sur, held at Villa del Rey Grounds, Provincial Capital Complex, Kadlan, Pili, Camarines Sur. The activity was attended by more or less 3,000 guests and VIPs, including local chief executives, local government unit officials and employees, 
barangay officials, representatives from other government agencies, academe, religious and business sectors, and Biko Region Against Drugs, Kamarini Sur Chapter members. PRO 5's Regional Director, Police Chief Superintendent Melvin Ramon G. Buenafe, graced the event as a guest of honor and speaker. The ceremonial handover of the Auckland Sidagdala Handbook to the guest of honor and speaker was one of the event's highlights. As a response to the commitment of this police provincial office in realization of a drug-free community through this OPLAN, the province of Cabarini Sur, through the leadership of Governor Miguel Luis R. Villafuerte, five motorcycle units, five computer sets with printers and other equipment were given as a pledge of support to all the plans and programs as a result of a synergistic collaboration between the provincial government and the Camarini Sur Police Provincial Office. The Provincial Alliance of Anti-Illegal Drugs Advocates proved their all-out support to the plans and programs of this upline. Their display of belligerence, discipline, alertness and utmost sincerity towards holistic reforms not only during the conduct of basic police drills and ceremonies but most especially during the event that they gained respect and deference from the community in recognition to the need to ensure the safety of the public and peace and order in the province the provincial government of Camarines Sur and the Camarines Sur Police Provincial Office are committed to fully implement Oplan Sinagtala effectively and efficiently. After all, this Oplan's utmost aspiration is the pursuit towards a secure, alert, fun, and excellent, safe Camarines Sur. On July 19, 2017, this activity proved yet another successful synergistic collaboration between the provincial government of Cabarini Sur and Cabarini Sur Police Provincial Office, together with the Provincial Advisory Council, holding its first joint coordinating command conference at the Villa del Rey Function Hall, Provincial Capital Complex. The provincial government of Cabarini Sur officials, headed by Governor Miguel Luis R. Villafuerte and Sanguniampan Lalawigan Chairman Vice Governor Fortunato C. Peña, Cabarini Sur Police Provincial Office Command Group and Staff, headed by Police Senior Superintendent Jerry F. Biares, Provincial Advisory Council, headed by Dean Agustin C. Camo, Chiefs of Police of the 35 Municipal and 1 City Police Stations and Police Non-Commissioned Officers were present during the said gathering. The activity started with the arrival honors for the newly installed Head of the Police Regional Office No. 5, Regional Director Police Chief Superintendent Antonio Nilayan Gardrola Jr. The program proper commenced thereafter. During the message of the Provincial Governor, he commenced the Camarini Sur Police Provincial Office with the leadership of Police Senior Superintendent Jerry F. Biares that the province gained recognition and topped the double barrel accomplishments region wide because of the dedication and relentless efforts and cooperation of the members of this Police Provincial Office. As a positive reinforcement, the young governor offered a reward system for the best city and municipal police station per quarter. Police Senior Superintendent Jerry F. Piaris was awarded a plaque of appreciation for his initiative in the conceptualization of this laudable program, which was given by Police Senior Superintendent Ramiro M. Pausa, Chief of the Regional Police Strategy Management Unit. Oplan Sinagdala handbooks were handed to the new regional director as a symbol of this police provincial office to his leadership in fighting criminality, illegal drugs, and terrorism. Police Chief Superintendent Guardiola reminded all the chiefs of police to practice constant vigilance at all times, starting off with going back to basics. The new regional director also urged the force to work together for the continuous momentum of the successful implementation of this upline and a challenge for this to be emulated by other provinces. Coming together is a beginning. 
keeping it together is progress. So, yun sinasabi kong momentum dapat tuloy tuloy. Working together is success. These words underscore the significance of this event. As we gather to discuss various matters relating to the peace and order situation of the province of Camarines Sur and by extension, the whole of Bicol region. I hope this will be replicated by other provinces. With that, Board Member Rex Oliva passed the resolution of the adaptation of Oplan Sidaktala as the official localized anti-criminality campaign plan of Kamarini Sur, as well as enact an ordinance of its permanency in the province. Advisory Council provided that uh, the Sangguniang Panlalawigan with uh, the request uh, to adapt Oplan Sidaktala. We will be having our, uh, with the blessing, of course, of our uh, vice governor and presiding officer. We will be having our session this afternoon, and uh, we will be passing a resolution adopting Oplan Sanigtala. <laughs> and not only that, we will not only adopt Oplan Sanigtala, we will be institutionalizing Oplan Sanigtala. And by institutionalizing the same, we are uh, planning to enact an ordinance so that this will have a permanency in character. Of course, with the blessing of our vice governor, we will uh, institutionalize the anti-criminality, a comprehensive anti-criminality campaign for the province of Camarini Sur to be known as Oblan Sinantala.